Hello again, my friends, or rather, hallo wieder, meine Freunde. Since today I am building German scout car SDKFZ 222 in scale 1 to 45. It also called Leichter Panzer Speerwagen. In English, it roughly means light armor reconnaissance vehicle. The kit is made by Hobby Boss and it has very detailed interior and chassis. The parts are very nicely molded and wheels are made from rubber. The nice addition are photo edge parts included in the kit, so you don't need to buy them separately. Let's start with model assembly. I glue the metal parts with super glue. Interior is painted with Tamiya and Vallejo acrylic colors. The chassis and floor are painted with German field grey color. Next, I spray the model with clear varnish, then I apply the washes. When the wash dries up, I simply remove the excess wash with X20 thinner. This is the finished interior. It is pity that almost nothing from it will be visible after model completion. I must cover all the painted parts before spraying the model surface with sand color. Here you can see a nice example why not to use exact color shade recommended for the model. This is a quite dark sand color and it will be even darker after applying washes and spraying with varnish. Therefore I usually prefer using lighter shades because they are become darker after editing dark washes. For this reason I have chosen lighter XF78 wooden deck color. And of course I add some shadows using darker shade mix from 78 and 64 brown colors. In my opinion Model Master Chrome is one of the best enamel chrome colors you can use for paint brushing. Now I spray the model with clear varnish. 
When the varnish dries up, I add the water slide decals and use Mr. Color Softer to set them properly. I spray the model with another layer of varnish, this time a mud one. Then I apply the black washes. I let the wash pure only into the gaps, since I have a matte surface now. I use a cotton swab moistened in Tamiya X20 thinner to wipe the excess wash off. The rust color is enamel paint. I paint all the scratches with a brush. If some scratches do not like nice, I can simply clean them with enamel thinner. The base paint is acrylic, so nothing happened to it. I can easily create smudges using oil paints and enamel thinner. The wheels are dusted with dry pigments. Such a procedure is very simple and quite effective. And voila, it's a finished. Mm, well, not yet. I'm going to add a bunch of equipment. Although it's a quite a lot of work, the model will definitely look much more appealing. Most of equipment is taken from accessories kit made by Tamiya, Italeri and Academy, all in 1 to 35 scale. I make the front holder for the canisters from a brass plate. Now I have to only paint it all and add some nice weathering effects. Ja, sehr gut. Jetzt ist es schlüsslich fertig. It is finally finished and it looks really good. Before I started building this kit, I wanted to try something new. I have not made a vehicle with a desert camouflage for a long time, so it was a quite a fun. 
Anyway, the biggest challenge comes with a selection of a diorama. Hi, after a short search on Google, I found this picture. A bonded German vehicle and British soldier enthusiastically exploring it. I immediately liked this picture and decided to use it for my diorama. You can actually find it on Wikipedia. In my next video, you can see me making the diorama, especially the palm tree next to the car, it's a quite a thing. It's a perfect object for using my homemade photo edge leaves. Thanks for watching and see you next time.